So this was going to be a story about how the eel and elver populations are crashing, how numbers are going down, and how people like the Environment Agency go out on patrol to stop fishermen taking too many from places like the River Severn. Well then come the start of May, all that changed. And when it gets dark, we'll show you what we mean. These are elver fishermen, and they have a long, long historical right to be here. Two, three hundred years. My grandfather, his grandfather, and his grandfather before him. And this is what they're fishing for, elvers. And right now, millions of them have returned from the Sargasso Sea and made their way to the River Severn and to Tewkesbury. This is the, the, the moment of migration. We're talking about millions and millions, billions, floating across the Atlantic. And right now we have a tailback of 50 miles worth of elvers from the weir at Tewkesbury to Sharp Ness. There are probably tens of millions in the river system coming up now, surfing on the currents. Now that may sound like a lot of eels, but as I said at the start, numbers have actually been declining. But this year looks like it's going to buck the trend and in a pretty spectacular way. Well, we was, uh, you know, elvering as we normally do and uh, tide came through, took the net out, had about a bucket in five minute dip. And the, all I can explain it as the, uh, the river turned white with elvers. It just looked like grass that like, covered the river and it was all elvers. Um, unbelievable sight, once in a lifetime sight, I, th I should imagine. And this glut is something Andrew and the Sustainable Eel Group want to capitalise on. And where we are here on the Severn, this is our greatest problem. Um, we have a series of weirs, navigational weirs at Tewkesbury, and very, very few elvers can get past those barriers. And uh, what we're wanting to do here on the Severn is to locate them, pick them up and move them over the barrier and release them the other side. These days, we don't eat many elvers in this country, although that might change with a big glut like this year. And I'm quite sure elvers have been enjoyed on toast again in Gloucestershire, which is something that hasn't happened for many years. Although not all the locals like them. Don't like them. <laughs> Don't like acquired taste. <laughs> so these little fellows will not be ending up in a Spanish tapas bar. Uh, instead, they're going to be relocated, transferred, uh, and so they'll be going to a place where they can grow to healthy adult eels, and uh, hopefully they'll end up boosting the population as a whole.